Okay, I just dropped Joe off, and I thought I would do a uh, short little video on uh, basically unpacking my gear. Instead of uh, the typical um, video on what I'm packing to go on the trip, this is uh, coming back from the trip, an honest review of uh, my gear, its condition, which I'm not proud of, what I needed, what I didn't need, and what was a good idea, what was not a good idea. And um, I'll go over some of the details of the trip, that sort of thing. But uh, I don't usually do this. Um, I'm just going to show you literally this is how I come home and this is what my gear looks like. Oh, so, this right here, that's my clothes I was wearing on the trip. So at the parking lot, I have some clean clothes I leave in my truck. So that pretty much just gets dumped in a pile and uh, obviously that's going in the washing machine. Uh, those are the shoes I wore for the trip. I like to keep, I love having a pickup truck because all the sweaty, stinky stuff can go back here and we can have a pretty, um, you know, non-stinky ride home. So my hat, my gloves. Um, this is actually just some packaging from the yoke from uh, Swift, so this is something I would normally have. Um, kayak paddle bag, which I was experimenting with, uh, I'll get into that. It didn't uh, work really that great. I was using it to protect my camera and fishing rod. I kind of had an, I'm big on ideas, so um, I would say that was a no go. And uh, here's my pack, and I'm going to go through the contents of that and tell you guys what worked and what didn't. Shoes. Tilly hat, merino wool gloves that I wear, dirty stinky clothes, these are just straps for my canoe, bale and whistle and rope for the canoe, and padding for my yoke. Again this is uh, my kayak paddle bag, so my kayak paddle is actually in here but I'll get into uh, why I thought it was a good idea and why it wasn't a good idea. My bag uh, gets a little dirty on trips. Oh. And life jacket. The rest of the things are just locks, that sort of stuff, so there we go. Okay, so I have all my stuff for my trip. This is not going to be glamorous. Um, I'm actually hesitant to even do it because I thought I'm going to do an honest loadout of post-trip gear um, list of uh, things I should have brought, things I shouldn't have brought. Um, how things work for me, were they good, were they bad? And uh, I just think it's a good idea for, uh, I, I do it on every trip, I kind of evaluate how things went. I like to experiment, I like to try different things, I'm not afraid to, to fail as far as, um, for example, <coughs> for example, this paddle bag, um, on this trip with uh, being new to the pack boat, being new to dragging a DSLR around, um, I kn knowing that I had to be quick and keep up with uh, Joe and Sean and Doug, um, I thought uh, having my boat, on my shoulders and one, one bag, just one hand with my camera that it would work. Um, as it turned out, I didn't like the system, it didn't work well, it wasn't fast and efficient. Um, so stuff like that I'm going to go through really quick here, I'm going to load my gear. It's dirty, it's uh, filthy, uh, I'm not going to pretend like everything comes back completely organized. This is just an honest re review of uh, how I get back from my trip. And uh, I don't know, I thought I'd share it with you. So first off, uh, I brought one pair of shoes. These are uh, Solomon and uh, they're called Tech Amphibian and uh, they're kind of mesh shoes but what I really liked and I continue to like about them is that uh, they're great on the trail so portages with all my gear um, they give me plenty of support and what I do is I wear um, waterproof socks with them I bring two pairs of waterproof socks one pair I wear during the day during the trip in and out of the canoe in and out of the water and then when I get back to camp even though those socks are waterproof my feet are a little clammy um, sweating inside that sort of stuff so then I put on a dry pair of wool socks and a second pair of um, waterproof socks and I put these on to walk around camp for the rest of the night and even though these are wet my feet stay dry so that worked really well and I'll continue to do that um, you know I, I literally took off everything from my uh, from my boat and uh, everything I brought so this obviously is a safety kit for uh, it's a bailer for your canoe safety line there's even a whistle on it so this is standard bigness on every trip um, yeah, literally, I, I like to change. I like to keep a dry, dry pair. I like to keep a clean pair of clothes in the truck for when I get back. So it's because me and Joe uh, have to drive uh, seven hours to get to the park, right? So uh, it's nice to kind of uh, go in clean clothes. So um, 
first chance I get, I uh, get out of my dirty gear. <clears throat> this, these were the pants I wore. They're uh, Fall Raven um, Gita Pro trousers. In the pockets, one thing that worked great, I had, the only thing I really needed for bugs was a head net. I only put on a few times on portages. Um, so yeah, the one pocket was a head net. The other pocket, if you see my videos, I always wear a buff uh, when it's cooler in the mornings and at night. So I always get, I use this to wipe my face off. If I need to cool off with some water. So I'll always continue to do that. And those are really my pants. I'm just going to throw them there. Um, these are just a pair of the waterproof socks that I was wearing. Marvel t-shirt and uh, Arcteryx. This is an Arcteryx um, kind of polyester blend shirt for, uh, it's more for running that sort of stuff in the summertime, but what I like about it is it's very light and when the trips get hot, um, I, prefer, I prefer to wear wool. The, uh, pl the orange plaid shirt that I wear on my trips is 100% uh, wool. It's an Ibex shirt, which I, which I love, but this worked good. It was fantastic. Marina wool t-shirt I had underneath the Arcteryx shirt, um, unless it got really hot, but I like uh, wool shirts, they work out great, so I'll wear that again. Let's get into my life jacket. Things I use in my life jacket, probably the most common uh, item that gets used on any trip is uh, Leatherman. I know uh, everybody likes carrying knives and so do I, but uh, realistically um, this is an important uh, piece of gear that I bring. I stick a fire steel in it in case I need it, and it's a Leatherman Wave multi-tool. Screwdriver pliers for getting fish hooks out of fish. Um, I always take this, always will. It's a perfect thing to carry. I take that over uh, my knife. Uh, because I'm getting older, it reminds me that I, I'm older than him. Um, glasses and a hard case, prescription glasses, and a life jacket. And what I love about this life jacket, the front of it, it flops down here. I can put my iPhone here, and I use that for navigation because I have uh, maps on my iPhone with the GPS function and I flip this down and my iPhone sits on there and I can paddle away and look at my phone and it'll tell me where we're going. I also have the string tied to here with the rubber band so I put the rubber band around my iPhone in case I drop it, it doesn't go in the water, my iPhone's waterproof so that's worked out good over the years, um, it's perfect when change the thing. I keep my map tucked in here and I keep a couple lighters tucked in here just in case of emergencies, you can never have too many lighters or matches, that sort of stuff. I'm going to drive back to this uh, life jacket. I've had it for, for many years. I like it. The zippers sometimes are, when they get dirty, are kind of tough to zip together. And when you want to do port a lot of portages, it's, um, at times it was frustrating when you're tired, you're just trying to get the zipper on um, together so you can hang it over your, my pack to, to keep going with portages. But besides that, yeah, that's my life jacket. It works so great. Uh, the kayak paddle was a bit of an experiment on this trip. Um, I don't mind doing experiments and trying things and uh, seeing what works, what doesn't work. Um, my, in theory, for me, uh, having a new camera, the, uh, sorry I'm sweating here, it's uh, like 30 degrees in my garage. Uh, having a new camera, it's a, my camera is a Sony A7R3, and um, for me it's a big investment, and uh, it's got a road mic on it, so I was concerned about carrying that around portages and in the boat, that sort of thing. So my theory prior to this trip was that if I took this kayak bag, I could break down my kayak, paddle, fishing rod, camera, any loose items that I had would go in here. I'd throw my boat on my shoulders, head down the portage carrying this, which is carrying one thing in my hand, I don't mind doing it at all. Um, so in theory, to me, it sounded like a good idea. In reality, getting to the portage is too time consuming, breaking things down, putting the camera in there. Um, I wanted to stick, uh, stick with uh, Joe and Sean and Doug and not fall behind at all, right? especially being new to the group. So um, it didn't work out as well as I was hoping it would. So that was a fail. I would not do that again. Fish and rod just needs to get gear tied to one of the thorns in the boat. Paddle, again, is kind of the same thing. And camera, um, I'm going to fine tune that. But ultimately, what I ended up doing at the end of the trip was just uh, holding my uh, camera. But I need a protective bag because it's uh, <laughs> it fell in the water, it fell over a couple times. It's, it's a lot of money to to see your tripod tip over with a camera falling into a bunch of rocks, so I don't need a heart attack on the next one, so I'm going to have to work that out, but um, overall, uh, this was not a good idea, so I have no problem saying that. Um, I think I covered the water filters. These are Catadine Be Free water filters. They work great. And what I did with these, um, you know, you can just scoop up the water, the filters in here, scoop 
the water out of the lake, throw the filter in, and you're good to go. You can uh, get a drink right out of there, no uh, tablets required. I do like using chlorine tablets if I had the time, and this, on this trip it was just, it wasn't rushed, but we were, the whole idea was doing a lot of kilometers, right? So, uh, but yeah, we'll see in a couple weeks if I get sick, but I'm pretty sure I, I felt fine. So what I would do with this is uh, I would mix my infinite uh, nutritional supplements in this bottle, and I would filter the water, put it in here, and I would have this in my boat, and I would drink this as I, as I went. So um, the infinite um, is a, uh, it's a great uh, nutritional drink, and I don't feel like I have to snack as often because I don't feel like I ever hit bottom where I'm exhausted. I just keep drinking that throughout the trip. And it worked really good. So two of these cations, what I love about them is uh, you don't have to carry water on the trail. You dump it when you get to the, uh, the lake instead of having to filter water and take maybe half an hour for pills, you just scoop up the water and rehydrate. So it worked really good. So I would definitely recommend these cationine one liter bee free bags. And I had that. Um, I used to have a, I always wear a wide brim hat. My, my North Face hat that I, I've worn on all my other trips was getting a little beat up and it was getting a little brittle. And um, so anyways, I picked up one of these and sure enough, yes, it's a Tilly hat. Um, so you guys reminded me that Sean wears these, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're just great hats, right? I'm not the first one and Sean's not the first one to wear, but um, yeah. Merino wool gloves, these worked really well. I mean, I wore these on my spring trip because it was a little cooler. Um, being a photographer and videographer, cutting the fingertips off, I need to work the controls on my phone or the camera. Um, and also these are Merino wool blend, and uh, they're really comfortable. I didn't feel like I was overheating with them, and I was able to spray bug spray on them, and I never really had any bug bites on my hands. So they actually work for a lot of different functions, and uh, yeah, they're pretty good. I would recommend them, and uh, I'd get them again if I didn't have them. So there you go. This is my pack. We'll get into this. It's uh, dirty. It's filthy. Um, this is an honest review, so we'll go into this, and I'll tell you what's in here, what worked, what didn't work. What's up here? I got two pouches up top. This pouch here, I carry a headlamp. Strictly a YouTube thing. This is a tripod um, with a little holder on here for my iPhone, so I can take some quick uh, video if I don't want to or don't have the DSLR handy. So, put that in there. Personal locator beacon. You can't always assume that just because you're with three other people that they're going to have one. Um, even though I'm with, uh, there's four of us on a trip, I would, I would never go on any trip like that without. Uh, being able to call for help if I needed it. So, give me that. I was gonna have paper right. My knife. Silky Gomboy saw. Probably use this the most of everything. It's all I keep in there. And uh, here's a little pouch where I keep all my. Um, I'm still sweating. Keep uh, waterproof matches and lighters in here. That's it there. Top. I have a kangaroo pouch on my pack and uh, accessible things I need to keep. Thermal rest DC, um, portage stops, uh, sitting down pretty much anywhere, kneeling down, weighs nothing, falls down to nothing. Highly recommend that. Brought these, did not need to bring them. They're my Coca Tat um, waiter pants that I use on my spring trip. Um, summertime, warm weather, really not required. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, if we got caught in a downpour, they're my rain pants, right? So I was thinking bringing rain gear. Um, I think I would just stick with the rain jacket. In the warm weather, you can get by with getting your pants wet. So anyways, I brought these, but didn't need them. Rain jacket, even the summertime, you could bring a rain jacket. This is my Arc'teryx uh, beta shell. It's a little heavy for summer, but um, it's a great jacket, it folds down to nothing, so I would uh, bring it again. Okay, my pack has a U zipper, so I'll open it up from the top. Go over some of the contents in here. So again, this is an honest review, it's messy, it just, uh, on the way home, usually I just throw stuff in there. And uh, it could be more organized, I guess, but I'm not. So I just jam stuff in here. This is the tackle box, uh, probably more than I need to bring. But um, you know, I wanted to make sure I was prepared and had room so I could probably break this down much smaller. But it's my tackle box. Uh, let's see here. I got, I got lots of little, little uh, ditty bags that uh, this one here is strictly this blue one is just camera gear. So um, wouldn't need to bring this if I wasn't making YouTube videos. I have a 
my B-roll lens. It's a 1.8 uh, lens, so I was hoping to get some B-roll. In reality, on a trip like this, it's tough to be the new guy and uh, stop everyone because you want to take photos and video, right? So if you're wondering what it's like to uh, go on a trip with kind of, you know, just getting to know somebody for the first time, the first day was kind of a feeling out process. Being a new guy, I didn't want to exactly be the one saying, hey, let's stop here and take some video or let's do this or let's do that. Um, ultimately, it was great. The guys were fantastic anytime I did ask for something, but, you know, being new, at least the first day, I wasn't going to, I was just kind of going to go with the flow. So I really ultimately didn't end up using this. If I was by myself, I um, would use this a lot more, but I didn't use it at all on this trip. So I can't say I wouldn't bring it, I just that uh, next time around if I knew the guys better, I'd probably use it a little more or feel comfortable basically making them stop so I can take video. These are all batteries. My Sony actually uh, recharges with uh, my USB. There's a big reason why I went to that camera. It's an awesome camera, but um, not too many DSLRs, if any, can can be charged by a USB cable. So this is this white thing here is a battery pack and I can charge my GoPro, my iPhone, and the camera with that. And I also have a few extra batteries for the Sony itself. And then a variable um, ND filter for uh, my lens. So that is that bag. This bag here I did not need to bring at all. The uh, bug forecast was pretty grim when we left. So I really tried to avoid going to the park when the uh, black flies and mosquitoes are at their peak and it was kind of what we were looking at going into this trip. It turned out to not be that bad. Completely overkill, I brought a uh, complete bug shirt which I, I didn't wear, I didn't even really think about wearing. The head net was really all I needed and uh, I also brought a uh, thermocell which takes butane cartridges and it uh, heats up and there's scent pads that go on there that uh, in theory repel mosquitoes and bugs. Um, I've had some success with it over the years in my turkey blind in the spring. Um, I have to say that's really the only time I've really had any luck with it. Um, in my opinion, it only really works when there's zero wind, it's still and mosquitoes are just in a fog and you're sitting still. Um, you know, and that's really the only time you're going to get any benefit from it. So this whole bag, to be honest with you, did not need to bring and it was a mistake to bring. Uh, this is a dry bag that I, I used to throw over my DSLR uh, in the boat and on the portages, that sort of stuff, in case it rained. So that's why I had this. I still need it. Food was pretty good. I uh, pretty much nailed the food where I didn't have to uh, have too many leftovers here. Got a few pepperonis and one dehydrated meal left over. I always bring an extra in case for some reason um, we get stuck or we need to stay later, that sort of stuff. But um, food was really. Uh, pretty, pretty perfect actually, I didn't really need to bring uh, more or less and uh, it worked out well. This kit here is strictly my uh, personal hygiene bag, it's got toothbrush, uh, that sort of stuff and um, basic uh, first aid kit. So it holds up to nothing, I obviously would take this again. This is a, uh, a little bag with basically nothing but YouTube and camera stuff, um, SD cards, Cords. There's a cord for everything, and a little lav mic that I use once in a while, which I don't really use that often, but I thought it was a good idea at the time when I got it. So, unfortunately, I do need that. My cook set. Jet boil stove, 1400 liter, 1400 um, titanium snow peak setup. Um, again, I continue to say the same thing. I, this is perfect for me. I, I can't think about improving this at all. What I keep in here is, like I said, the, uh, the jet boil, small fuel canister. I can cook over the fire with the titanium if I want. If it's raining, if I don't want time, or if it's just quite lazy, I can fire up the jet boil and boil some water. It gives me options. It's small. I mean, in my opinion, it's the way to go. Leather gloves, I always bring them. Cutting wood, um, playing around the fire. It's, it's worthwhile. Oh, this is my tent. It's an MSR Hubba Hubba. It's a two-person tent. It's a, it's an awesome tent. I mean, it's probably arguably one of the most popular tents of all time in uh, REI reviews and that sort of stuff. It's been around. Um, it's not the lightest. It's not the smallest, I guess, but it's uh, it's perfect. Um, but for a solo trip, would I like a one-person or a smaller, lighter tent? Absolutely. Kind of tough to justify buying a new one uh, right now. But um, as a as I get older, I would like to shave some weight, so maybe at one point I might get a smaller tent, but really, this is perfect. And then that 
just leaves a few things here. This is my clothes. My clothes, the sleeping bag is in here. And all I have left now is the uh, my sleeping mat. It's an X-Pen, Sinmat uh, 9, so it's a big, three and a half inch thick um, inflatable mat with some down insulation in it. It's an awesome, I wish it was a little smaller and lighter. Maybe something I upgrade in the future to try to reduce some size, but uh, we'll see. But overall, it's a great mat and I would take it again. And my clothes and sleeping bag, I have my Phantom Minus 2 in here, which is a little overkill, but I, I didn't really overheat it. It's a great bag and all the clothes that I need on this trip are in here. So yeah, there's not much I would change with the clothing and sleep bag situation. Okay, we got a few more things left on the side pocket. This is uh, little uh, bags of the Infinite. So that's the pr protein powder that I just throw in the water bottle. So I probably brought too much of that actually. So I use that for mountain biking so that'll go in there. And uh, I get a hard case for uh, sunglasses and that sort of stuff. I've ruined some sunglasses or um, prescription glasses actually by just shoving them in a pocket at one point they got crushed so pretty careful about having hard cases and protecting my glasses because quite frankly if I, if I lost my glasses or damaged them on a trip I, I'd have trouble tying my fishing line so I mean I can see I'm not blind but it's very frustrating having per perfect vision on my life and now requiring glasses so I'm not a big fan but you gotta take care of them right and then yeah so that's uh, that's pretty much all I brought so I hope this is helpful for you if uh, you got any comments or suggestions, um, I'm not too proud to, uh, to hear what you guys have. Uh, I don't ever want to seem like I come across like I know it all. I love learning. I love getting new ideas. If you've got a better, more efficient way or trick of doing things, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, send me a message. I respond to all my messages. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make this as honest as I can. I didn't really sure code anything. Stuff's messy and dirty and uh, now i got to put my tent up and air dry it and air everything out because it's cut hot and misty and humid and and all needs to get aired out because uh, quite frankly I'm using it again this weekend. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, keep watching and cheers.